Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to switch between languages on your Mac. So this doesn't just go for your keyboard, because keyboard, I have another video for that, which I'll show you a quick glimpse here, but um, this is for your overall language on your Mac, okay? Whether you have a MacBook Pro or iMac, so let's get to it right away. So what you have to go is System Preferences, okay? You can find that uh, here, or you can just go to the Apple, System Preferences. Another way, you can always go here and type in System Preferences, and there you're going to see it. Okay, so once you're in it, okay, let's just get into it. You're gonna go to languages and region. So right now I have it actually set up in Spanish. I just did a video in Spanish, so that's why. Um, Spanish is called Preferencias del Sistema. Uh, so we're just gonna go into it. So as you can see, my principal language right now is Spanish. I can change it to English. Okay, just by double clicking on it and make this one my principal one. Okay, it's very easy. Um, same thing here, you can just put, um, depends what type of Spanish you want, here you put the region, everything that you want, okay, um, on advanced, you can see a lot more options, uh, we're just gonna leave this alone for now, I'm not gonna get too advanced on this, just simple, I'm gonna teach you how to add languages onto it, so this is how you subtract languages, this is how you add languages to it, okay, so right now I have both Spanish and English, okay, if you want to add one more, just click on the plus sign right here, okay, once you get the plus sign, there you can see all the languages available for your Mac, okay, and you can select any one of these, so I'm going to select this one, I actually don't know this one, um, hold on one second, I'll just pick a different one, I'm just gonna go click on add. On your Mac, it's gonna say add. Okay, and here it's gonna tell you that you have to reset your Mac. So I'm not gonna reset it right now. Uh, restart, I mean. Um, to fully have it on Spanish or English or any other language such as this one that I'm gonna take out just by the minus sign, um, all you have to do is restart your Mac, and that's it. Even if you don't restart it, you're going to get some stuff like this, like mine. I didn't restart it. So as you can see down here, it will say System Preferences. Okay, however, when I click on it, it'll tell me everything in Spanish. So in everything, in, in order for everything to be fully in Spanish, I would have to restart my computer, which I will not because I need uh, to make these videos. And uh, I'm always switching between languages. So I'm just going to leave it as this for now. Um... As my principal language, like I said, all you have to do is click on it, you just move it up, and that's your principal one, okay? So once again, double click or just click on it, drag it up, and that's your principal. So I'm just going to switch again. That's my principal, okay? So I'm just going to close this up. It's going to tell me to um, restart my computer, which I will not. doesn't matter. And even if I click this on again, system preferences, we should see everything in English now. So there we go, language and region. So see, everything changes anyways. Um, not a hundred percent until you restart your computer, but that's it. Um, in terms of keyboard, just go into your keyboard preferences. So here we go, keyboard, and you can add more keywords onto it. Okay, um, it's I have another video for that, but that's that's where you want to go. Same thing for um. But this is uh, what you want right now. In keyboard preferences here, you can add more. Okay, this is where you want to go if you want to change. Um, uh, let's say you want something in Spanish. You're just going to to language and, and region. You go into keyboard preferences. And from here, you can add more keywords. Once you add them in here, you'll see them up here on the right-hand side. And you can switch between keywords. Okay, so I'm in Spanish. Uh, since Spanish keyboard has uh, different letters that are not in English, okay, and accents as well. Uh, same thing goes for um, also stuff in French, okay. So that's for your keyboard, easy to set up. Same type of deal, just click on the plus sign, you want to take something out. There you go, your negative sign, but to switch between keyboards, uh, just go up here and switch them, okay. Uh, it's also going to auto-correct your spelling if you switch between those two. Okay, so if you're typing Spanish, it will correct you on that, even if you don't change your language. Okay, um, that's about it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, errors, um, anything that you guys have a question for, you just ask down here below on the comments area, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. <laughs>